Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to pour in the graceful line oval tray mold again and I'm starting mixing up my glitter and this is the blue teal, it's a chunky glitter from Laura's Art Corner. Second um, glitter is the Olympic gold and the third will be a little bit of the Midnight Sky of the Fantasy series. So this is my glitter mix and I want to try to achieve a teal color, but I'm not sure if, I, if I'm able to achieve it. It might be a little bit more on the green side, but you will see later. And here you see my glitter mix. I mix it into my resin. The resin I'm using here is the Ultracast resin from Elchem, which I get in Germany from Etta Art. So I'm choosing two, um, yeah, how do you say it? Departments, compartments or sections in my mold where I want to have the glitter. And I want to pour similar or practically the same, but only with one color, um, like I did with the purple oval tray. So here I'm just dividing my glitter mix and then I let it cure for round about four or five hours. So it's still soft, of course, but I can pour on top of it. The Ultracast resin is the medium viscosity resin and it's brilliant for such effects. So, and this is now um, the four to five hours later and I start mixing my pigments. So there are the pigment drops from Etta Art and I start with the yellow and I'm just putting three drops into my resin, mix it to see how the yellow is. And I mixed up uh, for this tray, how much did I mix up? Round about 300 grams of resin, 350 grams. It's not completely full. So when I pour at the end, so you see. And now I start mixing my blue to my yellow. And I just went with one drop because the blue is rather strong. But here it was just a little bit too blue for my taste, or too green, sorry, too green for my taste. So another two drops of the green. And I'm stirring this very well so you don't have any streaks of color. And then I'm just checking, is this a color I want to have? And I'm just going with another two drops, three drops, I see now. You always have to, um, when you first drop, you always have a sort of air bubble when you drop these. So you really need to see. But now I'm having the color I want to have. I wanted to have it maybe a little bit more on the teal side, but for me it was okay. No, it was not yet okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is this with the voiceover. So I'm going with another two drops. See, this is the mixing um, part and you always um, need to see what you are doing, what color you like. And this is brilliant about the pigment drops because you can just, you know, do whatever you want to do. You can achieve so many different colors because they are available in the prime colors. So, and now my second one, my second color is the Interference Pearl also from Etta Art, and I'm mixing this into the other half of the resin. Just doing um, a decent amount into my resin. Of course, not too, too much, um, but also not too thin. Just, I don't know, I always go by feeling. That's why I just, 
I don't have a formula for this. I'm, like I said, I, I just make sure that, you know, that I have enough. But you see what um, yummy color this is. Really love this. I'm really glad I ordered this. And there you go. By the way, the mode is from Modes and Shapes. The glitters from Laura's Art Corner and um, the pigments are from Etta Art. I link everything into my description box and there are the promo codes from Modes and Shapes and Etta Art. So just please feel free if you want to purchase anything to use my code. It's PT10. So now I added my greenish tealish color it's more on the green side so i was a bit nervous how it matches with the blue teal um, glitter but it was too late i already poured and now my cream color my my mica and i'm just adding this also in the oval form and I'm pushing this from right to left, so I follow a little bit the oval shape. And then I just let the resin do its magic. You can already um, guess that the um, pigment drops, the resin with the pigment drops, the green, um, goes above the mica or the mica goes underneath the pigment paste, uh, the pigment drops, sorry. So, and this is now a close-up. That's how it's looking half an hour later. So you can see at the edges that the mica really reached the edges at some parts. And I'm very curious how the outcome is going to be. It's quite green. <laughs> so, and now I have to tell you, this is three o'clock in the morning. But if I would have only gotten up at 8 o'clock, I would have not been able to shape the um, bowl. So I really set up my alarm and I can demold and look at this. Look at the colors. And I am, it looks a little bit different than my um, purple one because I had the different shades of the purple colors. I poured with different shades, but here I poured with one shade of, of the greenish teal color, but I still love it. I, I think it's amazing. The pattern is amazing. And I'm also happy with the glitter. And now you see me struggling at three o'clock in the morning, getting my bowl straight. I put a little bit of silicone oil into my big bowl, so it's easier to demote later. But you see how I'm struggling. So I was also only half awake and, you know, my eyes were still not open. And you see, I, I struggle <laughs> to get it straight and how I want it. And it's so funny to see this um, because um, I thought I just wake up, I just do this and I didn't expect to have so much harm <laughs> but at the end I got it sorted it just took a while but there you go now it's sorted and finally done and I didn't show you now how I painted the lines because I did this with my last video but this is the final result and I'm wondering what you are thinking. I really, I personally love this. And you see, I also made coaster sets and I think it's really a nice fresh set. It's a different color. Not too many people pour like greenish colors and I really love this. So anyway, with this, I love and leave you and I thank you for watching and I'm thanking you for all your support. Take care. Bye bye.